One of Pastor Robles' own pilots for the nonprofit Honor Flights passed away two years ago. Community reporter Lindsay Hyatt has more on how people in the community are coming together in his honor. This year, Lori Smoot organized a legacy flight in her husband, Sherman Smoot's honor. The flight took off here at the Estrella Warbirds Museum, flying 17 veterans across San Luis Obispo County. When honor flight pilot Sherman Smoot died in a plane crash in 2022, his wife Lori and best friend Scott Stelsley were determined to keep his legacy alive. How are we going to do something to try to remember Sherman and not forget what his mission was? What was Smoot's mission? To try to get these old veterans back out, um, get them out of their rest homes or wherever they are, get them in an airplane, fly them around, get them to have some excitement again and remember some of the times that they spent in aircraft like this in a military situation. So Stelsley and Smoot's wife proposed a legacy flight every D-Day beginning this year. And on Thursday, 17 veterans piled into Betsy's Biscuit Bomber and flew over the Central Coast. As the veterans returned to home, I asked Stelsley what the day meant for him. The last flight he and I ever had together was in this plane flying these veterans. Now that he's gone, I kind of feel like it's sort of my responsibility to do everything I can to keep that going. Veteran Bill Lathrop was aboard Thursday's flight and was grateful for the experience. I'm very dang fortunate because not too many people will be able to board an old plane like this, sit together, take pictures together and stuff. Couldn't ask for something better. One, two, three. Go! You can find more information about honor flights like Wednesdays on KSBY.com. In Paso Robles, Lindsay Hyatt, KSBY News.